deteriorating demographic profile is something that we've known for uh, quite a while uh, uh, about Japan. But at, at this juncture, it's, it's, it's getting really scary. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, in fact, it's been scary for a long time for those who follow the numbers. Uh, an, an economist friend of, here, uh, of mine here in Tokyo said that uh, even uh, if uh, the birth rate went back to uh, 2.1, the total fertility rate went back to, to uh, uh, two kids uh, per uh, uh, female, uh, then it would still take uh, 60 years for the population uh, to stabilize. So we are facing some major, major demographic issues and how the country reacts in its social policy, in uh, its um, uh, uh, medical policies. Those are critical, critical issues uh, to ensure stability here. Robbie, you know, you're, you're an old Japan hand, right? And you've been watching this sort of unfold uh, over, over the years, if not uh, uh, decades. Uh, it strikes me that if you remember back in the day, uh, old Abe Shinzo, uh, that third arrow, which included opening the doors, more immigration, more foreigners, etc., uh, Japan, we don't read that much about it, but, you know, just anecdotal evidence. Last trip I was up in Japan, I walked into a 7-Eleven or, for that matter, uh, uh, any of the konbini uh, there, right? And yes. they're, they're not Japanese behind the counters. So it seems as though, you know, the, the doors are opening. I mean, is it making much of a dent uh, on this whole demographic problem, though? Well, it's helping a little bit. Uh, immigration now is back up to an increase of about 200,000 per year of foreign-born workers in Japan. Uh, there are now a total uh, of about 2.1 million uh, foreign workers in Japan. Uh, however, if you think about the demographic, demographic trends here, uh, the basic point is that Japan will lose about a percentage point of the labor force uh, per year going up uh, to 2050 or so. And that means about 600,000 people. Uh, so even if uh, foreign workers are filling uh, a third of that, it's still not enough. Um, so we would need much, much higher immigration to do that. Um, you mentioned the convenience stores. It's very interesting now because, yes, you see foreigners behind the counters. But the other thing you see is lots of self-checkout uh, machines that you never saw before. So we're, what we're seeing is a combination of some immigration, uh, but also uh, a great deal of capital substitution that is putting machines in to do stuff that people used to do. And it makes life much, much more efficient. Uh, you can go into any uh, coffee shop now and go beep, beep, and uh, click your, um, your, um, your uh, purchase uh, very easily on a number of different uh, 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 places.